Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna just jump right into this upcoming Nintendo Direct talk. There's been just some recent developments as of late for things relating to this Direct. Even a developer by the name of uh, Crystal Noda announced that his next major game project will be announced on the 13th, our time. It would be 14th, their time. So that could be an, a, a window into this, maybe there being a Direct very, very soon. And that's very exciting, because this is my first video talking about a Direct. And there's been even some speculation on what's going to be in the Direct. Mainly, I think there's going to be like your standard fare, you know, for more information about the new Princess Peach game, stuff like the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon remaster potentially, stuff like that, maybe even some Splatoon DLC, more information about the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLCs, stuff like that. But there's even been some rumors of a Nintendo DS remake and a Wii remake. So I'm not entirely sure what, like my guesses for those games are a lot harder. Like I have no idea. Like my best guess is maybe that they're bringing over the Prime Trilogy or Metro Prime 3 Corruption or, yeah, everybody hates this game, but Metro Prime Other M. Maybe something like that because we've seen a lot of Metroid talk over the last few years for very good reason. But like seeing something like this would, you know, give faith back to the idea of Prime 4 might be actually happening. Maybe the DS game is uh, potentially Metro Prime Hunters on the DS. Maybe it's a remake of that game because I remember that one being a launch title and like a showcase for the capabilities capabilities of the DS. So it's, uh, maybe it could be that. But my hopes for what the DS game could be. This is where hopefully we could maybe see announced Pokemon Gen 5 remakes. You know. Unova region is my favorite region in all of Pokemon. It was the one that, like, the first generation of Pokemon that I was, like, fully there for. Like, I was alive and cognizant for the previous generations of Pokemon, but I just didn't play Pokemon at the time. Like, I got into Pokemon with Diamond and Pearl, but that was my brother's game, and I didn't really, you know, appreciate it. But seeing Pokemon... Uh, Gen 5, you know, black and white, I was just awestruck. So hopefully it's r these remakes that are happening for the DS game, because it is a DS game, so it could fit the description of the leaks and rumors that were been going about, but I don't think that it would be in a direct, I think it would be in a Pokemon presentation, because that's usually how they handle some stuff like this, but hey, I'm more than happy to be wrong about this topic. Another game we might be seeing in this direct is maybe Gotham Knights. I don't know if any of you remember that terrible, terrible Batman game that doesn't have Batman in it, Batman in it I think. I didn't play it that much. It was just, just bad. <laughs> and I ended up just like returning it to GameStop because it's just a bad game. Uh, and I'm sure that's not very a controversial opinion. But uh, there's been a recent leak showing that this game has been listed uh, by um, I think it was the ESRB rating the game for PlayStation 5, Xbox One, uh, Series X, and whatever, uh, and Nintendo Switch. And this is one of those games that are like a Halo port. This isn't not, this isn't a game you would ever expect on the Switch for a number of reasons, mainly. But I mean, they are bringing the rest of the Arkham um, Batman games over. Maybe they want to bring back Arkham Knights. That back this game came out in 2022, and it was lukewarm at best to most people. And to others, this game is just bad, just a bad game. This game runs at 30 FPS on PS5 and Series X. There's no shot this thing is going to be nearly half as good on Switch. If they they stopped making the Xbox One and PS4 versions of the game because of performance issues. I don't know how, if this is actually coming to Switch, gonna be a thing, and if it is, we'll probably see it in this upcoming Direct. But like, that is insane. Like, what the heck? That game does not deserve to see the light of day. You know, there's just so many other things um, in the Direct we could see. So many different games we could hope for. One of the main things I, like 
you know, dream of being on this track, but it probably won't be. So it's important to keep expectations at a minimum because we, all of these are basically rumors, you know, like they're not basically exactly our rumors. It's important to make sure that you don't get your hopes too high because I've been buried many times back in the day for like Switch Pro rumors, just constantly like, oh, this is when it's going to happen. We're going to get Switch Pro and then not get Switch Pro, obviously. Uh, but stuff like that, it's important to keep in mind that these are just rumors and it's best to take them with a grain of salt because frankly, people are saying, I've been seeing around on the internet, people are hoping for Nintendo Switch 2 uh, announcement in this direct. I'm like, probably not. We probably won't see that one until like March of next year and then it will be released in like November territory. So I think right now Nintendo is trying to build up the like the last year of the switch and to try to push as many units as they can this holiday season before they have to start addressing this switch 2 drama and stuff like that and there's even been some recent filings of new hull effect joysticks uh for the joy cons nintendo did like they recently filed a patent for it and i'm like that's super cool it's good to see that they're taking it seriously but i think this early in the game you know for the switch 2 is because it's not even out yet and we're already hearing you know patent filings i assume that either this is a part that just doesn't matter or nintendo is filing this to make sure that nobody else can take their idea from them so my guess this is very since we're hearing about it now the likelihood of it ending up in the final switch 2 it to me seems unlikely because like how how would like nintendo truly feel if entire spec lists and design decisions were just revealed to everybody almost a year before the switch 2 comes out like that'd be crazy i i think nintendo would go ballistic but i can estimate roughly when we should probably see this direct at the earliest it would be literally tomorrow september the 13th Nintendo has done directs before this early in the month. The last year was exactly the 13th. So, in, in that corroborates with, you know, the stuff Crystal Noda said in the, his announcement about revealing his game, which could be in a Nintendo Direct. So, I think it is either, either going to be something like the 13th or somewhere like the following week. So, I think this direct is going to happen fairly soon. And... My expectations for what's going to be in the direct, like I stated, is probably going to be some of your boilerplate, some of the stuff that we just ha is announced, but there isn't a lot of information, like stuff like the new Princess Peach game, because like th there isn't a great deal of stuff that I think Nintendo has left to reveal. Like there, like some of the previous rumors were like there's Wii game, a Wii remake that's potentially happening, and Nintendo DS remake that's happening. It's I just can't figure out. I I pour through lists and lists of DS games and Wii games Nintendo's published, and I can't figure out a single game that they would consider remaking at the moment. And so I that's very exciting. Like outside of the year, ones that you can instantly think of, but they're not necessarily directly Nintendo games like Pokemon. You because it is just like partially owned by Nintendo or something. Uh, but like Pokemon is like the only game I can think on the DS that would be getting a remake because there's aren't there isn't very many DS games that I think Nintendo would want to maybe something like one of the uh, Mario like Bowser's and like one of the Mario RPGs on there like Bowser's Inside Story or Superstars or whatever it's called and on the Wii my guess is one of the many Metroid games because there's stuff like the Prime Trilogy and Prime 3 Corruption and the, the other M to help you know start boosting hype for Prime 4 maybe on the Switch 2 or towards like one of the last games on the Switch next year. So there's a lot of stuff that you could realistically end up being in this direct but in all honesty I don't think it's going to be that big and crazy of a direct. So it's best to important to keep your expectations as close to zero as possible so you can be the most surprised during this direct and i know this video probably doesn't help anybody manage their expectations you're probably watching this because you're so excited and i get it i do the same thing every direct i go and just copious amounts of content 
and I always get way too hyped for it to be just very underwhelming. Oh, it's gonna suck if it's gonna be like an indie direct. That'd be terrible. Like I like indie directs, but like I I'm I want new games, and I don't want games that have been out on Steam for like two years already. And that's usually the case for most indie directs, They're full of games that have been out for years on other platforms, and they're just now coming to Switch. And like Cursed Golf or whatever, or that golf RPG have been out on other platforms, and they just hit uh, Switch on like 20XX or something. That like Mar not Mario, that side-scrolling beat 'em up Mega Man game has been out on Steam for multiple years now, and it just hit Switch like. A month ago so it's stuff like that where I'm usually not too excited for any directs it's just nice to have them on switch but I don't necessarily feel like they don't always they don't always need a direct because most of them have been out for a while and if it's gonna be like a partner direct that could be interesting seeing that any of whatever the last minute ports other developers are working on but mainly I think we're probably gonna end up seeing seeing the new peach game maybe some information on the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon remaster and hopefully a Wii and DS remake. That is what I'm really hoping for because on my that's my childhood, baby. I really do want to see that and I hope cross your fingers it's Pokemon, but it probably won't be. But anyways, what are you what are your thoughts? What games are you hoping show up in this direct? What remakes are you hoping for from the DS and the Wii? You know, leave that comment down below. I, I'm super interested to know. Maybe I missed something that would make a lot of sense. Maybe I'm, you know, there's a clue out there that I just didn't see. Uh, I would love to hear. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that other social media garbage down below. And have a wonderful day.